recent scientific debate has erupted over the exact nature of a shark, an ancient shark, a genus known as Tychidus, which were very large sharks that lived in the Cretaceous period. It's actually fairly common knowledge that sharks are an insanely old type of animal. They've been on this planet for millennia in various forms, and Tychidus was a pretty interesting one, mostly because of their teeth. Their teeth are arranged in a perplexing way, and they're almost plate-like. This is because, as it's been revealed lately, that they were shell crushers. Their prey consisted of, well, things with shells, and their plate-like teeth were designed to crush those things so they could eat them, as sharks are apt to do. But besides the teeth, for a long time we really didn't know what Tychidus looked like, any of the species, simply because it's pretty hard to get fossil evidence of the exact shape of a shark. Sharks don't have proper bones, they have cartilage, and it doesn't fossilize nearly as readily. I mean, it's already pretty rare for a bone to fossilize. Cartilage is way more unlikely to do it. The only reason we tend to find ancient shark teeth a lot is that, like modern sharks, they were constantly shedding their teeth during their life meaning there were trillions of teeth over the millennia thrown out over the ocean. So naturally, a handful would have been able to fossilize. But as for the rest of the shark, it's a little bit more difficult. But a recent Mexican fossil has shed some light on Tychidus specifically regarding their exact shape. It was already believed that they could be pretty big, some estimates putting them up to 33 feet in length, which, thanks, it's horrifying. And this fossil, which is an imprint, actually shows us the shape of the animal, which, I mean, that, that looks like a shark. It's still a great find, no question about it. And this, along with a few other specimens, was used as the basis for a recent scientific paper. And by analyzing the various remains, they placed Tychidus with the Lamniforms, a mackerel shark, and they believe they went extinct due to competition with animals like mosasaurs, who had evolved similar shell-crushing behavior by this point. But, um, <clears throat> not everyone agrees with the paper, and... But to begin with, my first problem is every single article I've read about this does their absolute best to give me very little information to work with because not a single one mentions what species of Tychidus we're talking about. They just say Tychidus, which is a genus, and you'd think that would narrow it down, but apparently there's uh, nearly two dozen species underneath that genus. So, you know, not really helping me a lot, but that's just major news articles for you. I don't even know what I expected. But another paleontologist not involved with the paper strongly disagrees with the placement of Tychidus underneath landiforms. His name is Tyler Greenfield from the University of Wyoming. And he feels they shouldn't be there because landiforms have a specific pattern of the size and shapes of their teeth, as well as hollow sections in the jaws that hold the rows of the teeth, and, and, and the cartilage structures inside the vertebrae. Tychidus has none of this, and he felt that the researchers completely omitted those elements in their paper, instead focusing on certain characteristics that would prove their point and ignoring all the ones that disproved it. But the characteristics they pointed out, mostly with the cranium and the jaws, aren't unique to lamniforms. Therefore, it wasn't a good way to actually classify Tychidus. Greenfield feels that Tychidus, along with two other species of shark, should actually belong in a separate order, the anachorosiforms. However, there's a problem with this too. See, anachorosiforms aren't actually currently considered a thing at, at all. That was an order that was considered but it's not considered valid at this time. So basically what Greenfield was trying to push is that there should be a separate order to encompass these three particular genuses of shark because they are pretty distinctive and don't really fit in with the other lamniforms. To a degree, I can understand where he's coming from, but for every argument, there's a counter-argument, and the discussion continues. Paleontology, everyone, where no answers are ever given. And with that, a special thank you goes out to my Apex Predators, Dr. Racer78, Metal for Life Guy, and Arthur Roy. Till next time, this is Darkness, and I bid you all a fun farewell.